What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something extremely important, how to dual boot your 32-bit device, being in an iPhone 4 or being in an iPhone 5 or 4S, 5C, 32-bit devices in general. I'm going to have my iPhone 4 for that because my iPhone 5 right here and my iPhone, um, my iPhone 5S are not compatible because they are not jailbroken and 5S it's um, basically 64 and Kloader, a part of the application, isn't working with it. But if you are jailbroken on an iPhone 5 or 5C or 4S, you can try this as well. Right, so basically it's something that was released today. It's called Cool Booter and you need to simply get it from Cydia. I'm going to show you, so it allows you to install two iOS versions at the same time on an iPhone, which is pretty much cool. We're going to install iOS 6.0.1 alongside with iOS 7.1.2 that is running right now on this iPhone, or you can try it with iOS 9 or 9.x and a new version. Wow, pretty cool, isn't it? Right, so you just need to add this little uh, repository from here, coolbooter.com, uh, you simply need to click edit and you add, then here you simply add that address and click add source. Now you just, uh, sorry, now you just need to go into, um, click down in here, you just need to go here into this and system and add this one. I already added that, but I'm going to click reinstall just for you to be able to see what is, you should see. And it's going to show something like this, which is basically downloading everything. So. I'm gonna be back when it finishes. Okay, so after you install it, you will have it on your screen. It's called Cool Booter and you open it and it will show you this pop-up. Then you need to select something, boot or install. You're going to click install in here and it will ask you for an iOS version. Keep in mind, you can only install a previous version that has the um, keys published. Most of the 32-bit devices keys are, but the iPod, touches do not have the keys, but iPhones do. So I'm going to select uh, 6.0.1 for this and I'm gonna click I'm ready. It will ask you two things. If you want jailbreak on it, and I'm going to say uh, yes. And if you want verbose boot, that scrolling text, yes, I do. And it will start downloading from Apple server. You can see that uh, little um, downloading progress bar in the um, in the corner. I'm gonna be back when it finishes downloading. Okay, so uh, after downloading, it verified the IPSW to make sure it's the uh, correct one. And now it's extracting the firmware from it. You can see from here. And the uh, extraction part basically will take a little bit. So um, at this point, it will do everything by himself. You just need to, to wait. So as you can see in here, it is partitioning, which means that it creates a new partition for the uh, device to work with. And that partition will be allocated for the, um, the actual new operating system. So basically what this does is to create a new uh, partition that will be assigned for iOS 6.0.1 in my case. And the remaining one is assigned back to the uh, 7.1.2 in my case. If you're trying this on an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4S, it will be the iOS 9.x or whatever. And the other one will of course be the, um, the corresponding uh, partition, right? So, uh, so let's see what happens. Uh, it says flashing iOS. I'm going to just have it a little bit in here. Flashing iOS 6.0.1. So the flashing process basically means it will install it in that partition, which isn't the best thing to do, but it will create a dual boot, right? Uh, but this means that you will have a smaller size of the partitions, which is basically um, bad if you have a 16 gigabit device, not bad, but you need to, to learn to work with it. Uh, because it will split it. For example, if you have 16, it will split it 8 and 8. Um, and that means you're uh, you're going to have 8 gigabytes for the um, iOS 7.1.2 and 8 gigabytes for the 6. Point whatever. But the advantage in here is that you don't need a computer in order to flash it back, which is um, 
which is good. It's better than using the Git Grade, for example, that uh, Git Grade requires Red Snow in order to be able to, um, to work with it. Now, this process will take a little bit, so I'm going to put pause in order to speed it up. And there we go, it says install succeeded. Now I'm going to click boot, and it will tell us to go into the uh, slip mode or to lock the screen basically. And then we're going to, to do it. All right, so please lock your device, wait 10 seconds, then unlock to continue. Okay, let's wait 10 seconds. I have 10 seconds already. Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, so as you can see, this is the verbose. You can disable it if you don't like it, but you need to do that at the beginning. I don't think you can do that after you install it. So this is the whole uh, process. And then it will switch off to the, uh, to the Apple logo, the old Apple logo. This is pretty interesting to look at. It contains a lot of information about Bootrom, about the iBoot, what processes are being done in the background, what is being executed, where. For example, uh, I can see from the image Launch HD, which is a uh, launch daemon. And there you go. You have this little uh, progress bar. This happens every time you install a new version of iOS. Uh, it configures that out. I think it happens also after an uh, upgrade. And um, you can see that it's the, it's the old logo, which means that we successfully booted into the um, into the iOS 6.0.1. I, I can't wait to, to configure this out. And keep in mind, everything works normally. So you can place calls, you can uh, you can you can text somebody it if your device works for that then it's pretty cool so you don't have any uh, caveats in here the only um, the only one that I can find is that you need jailbreak oh there we go and there we go guys I saved you from seeing the entire setup part and as you can see it's running iOS 6.0.1 and I have Cydia in here that I can start and uh, it will start stashing because it's the um, it's that kind of jailbreak that actually stashes, not like the iOS 10.1.1 or the iOS 9.x. All right, so the device simply uh, resprings. You can see that little faded Apple icon in there, and there we go. Right, I really love this uh, this iOS version. And if I go in here, it should work now. It should be finishing everything up. Right, who who you are? I am a developer. Thanks for asking. Why I cannot click? I probably got stuck a little bit. Let me try again. It's that old version of Cydia, but on uh, iOS 6.x, yeah, you can't run any other version. Yep, it got stuck. I need to kill it. Right. Okay, I'm going to kill it. You remember the old style of killing applications? And I'm going to go back in it and try to load it again. I'm going to tell it I am a developer and everything seems to be working. And it will start updating all the packages, right? Do you remember this old version of Cydia? It's been a while since you used it. Right, so I'm not going to get into it very much. I'm going to explore it further, but you can see most of the applications, most, all of them are working. So as I said, to recap this video, uh, this is untethered. So if I restart now my phone, which I'm going to do, it will go into iOS 7.1.2. But from iOS 7.1.2, I can use Cool Booter and click again boot and go back in here. So you do not need any computer in order to boot. I'm going to show you that there are two operating systems at the same time. Imagine how cool is that and imagine what benefit you can get if you have a 64 gigabit device or if you have a 32 gigabit device or even more, I don't know if it will ever support the um, the 64 bit devices. Right, so you can see that the uh, Apple logo from here is basically the uh, new Apple logo 
sorry for the camera, but yeah. So it no longer booted inside the 6.0, it lets you choose and uh, it will boot directly in 7.1.2. If you're running this on an iPhone 5, it will boot into your iOS 9 or whatever. And basically your main operating system remains the one you had installed, but switching is pretty much very, very easy, right? So we're waiting for it to, to boot. The interesting part is that iOS 7.1.2 boots extremely uh, hard compared to iOS 6, which makes me think that iPhone 4 should have remained on iOS 6.x as the latest firmware. iOS 7.1.2 really gets the best out of that device, but it makes it extremely um, uh, hard to operate in some cases. Uh, I mean, check out this, this boot, right? Uh, it's the same thing that happens on the iPhone 4s with iOS 9.3.5. iOS 9.3.5 shouldn't have been created for 4S. 4S should have stopped on iOS 9 or 8. Alright, so it started normally on my uh, on my 7.1.2 out here and if I want to boot back into the uh, 6.x I simply click that up and click boot. Also you can uninstall it if you want. I'm gonna click boot and it will say preparing to boot iOS 6.0.1 as you can see. So you can make this switch very very quick there's no issue, there's no problem that can stop you and it's safe again to lock your device. You do it and you wait 10 seconds, which isn't very much of a problem. Uh, now, Shadow Lee, a developer, also uh, demoed a variant of this, uh, but manually, where he had three operating systems at the same time. Well, I don't think you really need to do that, but two operating systems are enough. Right, so I'm going to unlock it and it will start the uh, the verbose again. I'm just doing this so that you can see there are two operating systems running at the same time because you can say that, oh no, you just installed a new one, right? So no, it actually uh, followed my instruction to, to use the uh, verbose boot in here, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And um, it gives some great effect in here. And then it will simply show the Apple logo and go back to 6.x, which we're going to test right now. I'm sorry if the video is getting a little bit uh, longer, but I just want to prove that this works because I don't want to get any kind of comments that it doesn't work or something. And you can test this out, as I said, on all your 32-bit devices, but it's recommended to be very careful because it's still a beta. Right, you can see, let me do this up, yep. There we go. Okay, anything seems to be start, starting normally. Do you remember the camera? Do you remember how the camera looked like on uh, 6? Looks like this. There we go. I really like it. Right, so this is it guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, try it on your device and tell me if you like it, and till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for more cool tricks and more info about jailbreaking and iOS, and peace out.